And we're back. What is going on, guys? And welcome back to another episode of, hold on, let me get this off, Police Cars. I've been getting a lot of comments in the comment section to do other agencies outside of the state of Florida. As you guys can see, you know, we're in Miami. It's hard to travel to other places. Hopefully one day, maybe in the future, when we get a... Hey, Nick, you talking to California yet? No, Rambo! Today's video is sponsored by Hikes. Oh, those feel good. So Hikes is a boot manufacturing company for high-risk professionals, including all of us in law enforcement. Hold on, let me take one of these off. So Hikes has boots for all types of environments, hot, cold, wet, dry. Uh, they have quick lace, they have zippered. If you're on a SWAT team, fire rescue, swift water rescue, any type of situation you want to dive into, Hikes has a boot for you. These are my personal preference, the Black Eagle 2.1 T-Low. Now I like these because they're low top, they're comfortable, water resistant in Miami, a lot of rain, a lot of sunshine too, so you can wear these low tops with shorts. All right, enough of that. Any more and I gotta charge you. All right, well, listen, these boots aren't cheap boots. These guys go above and beyond to use top grade quality leather. They use bullhide leather. The stuff that you can find in Mercedes. Or Mercedes. The plural Mercedes. Now I know what you're thinking. These boots sound great. Well, how can I get my hand on a pair of one of these? Well, guess what, guys? Hikes is going to be giving away a free pair of boots to you guys for being a part of the Nod Squad. All you have to do is click subscribe to this channel. Go over to their YouTube channel, Hikes North America. I'm going to put all the links down below. Hikes North America. Click subscribe on theirs. Then go over to their Instagram and click follow. Once you've done all the steps, find the post with me on it on their Instagram. Comment done. That's all you have to do. Comment done and you can win a free pair of Hikes boots. Now, if you don't win, there's still a chance for you to get one of these at a discounted price. Go over to Hikes.com. Again, go to Hikes.com, select the boot that you want, and when you go to checkout, just enter the code NODSQUAD and you get an extra 15% off of the boot of your selection. Hikes hooking you guys up. So go pick up your pair of boots, and now it's time to get back to the CHP video. And guys, remember, heroes wear hikes. Guys, look who it is, Rambo back in action. Today, we're gonna be here at the California Highway Patrol in East LA. Welcome to California. Thank you, thank you for Welcome having us. Thank you for having us. What's going on? Hey, Nick, what's going on? Finally. So introduce yourselves on the vlog. I'm Officer uh, Roberto Salcido. With no crutches. With no crutches this time. <laughs> He's got two good feet. I do. Yeah, so if you guys don't know, at work we visited California and we went on a ride along with Rambo and his partner. Pardon? My name is Officer Juan Galvan, the California Highway Patrol. But he's not here today, right? No. No, okay. But Officer Galvan. So anyways, uh, today, just so happened to be in California, Called up my boy Rambo, <laughs> and uh, he said, yeah, man, come on down. So, we're going to be running on the Charger again? You know, we did that last time you were here. I got a few of the cars for you. Ooh, I'm excited. Let's go. Ah, feels like just yesterday I was sitting in this seat, <laughs> and you were running it down. So, um, guys. We're not gonna run down the Charger this episode. If you guys want to, you can check out the video that I'm gonna put here where uh, at work we did a ride along and uh, they were kind enough to run it down for us. So we're gonna head over to, where are we going? We're going to our TMC office. Okay, we're going to the TMC office. Don't know what that means, but, <laughs> but we're headed <laughs> over there and we're gonna get a look at a uh, vehicle. That's right, I probably should have said it's our Los Angeles Regional Traffic Management Center. Ah, there it is. <laughs> We're gonna check out the uh, traffic management center. Um, 
Not quite. Well, got a little surprise for you. This place is like a castle. It is. It's pretty big. We have our dispatch center here, and we have Caltrans here who monitor all of our freeways and take care of our freeways. Look at that thing. Yeah. Here got we go. a motor. Got a what motor. is this? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> Welcome to California oh there, Nick. My Welcome back. God. Guys, Rambo hooked it up. Bro, you outdid yourself. What is going on with all this stuff, well, man? We brought out a few toys. Yeah. We want to show you a couple of things that we have here. So uh, we have some Tahoe, we got a Dodge Ram, we have a Charger, we have uh, a Harley, and some bicycles. Oh, and of course, our mobile command center there. Oh, where do we start? I mean, there's so much. Well, uh, how about we start off with um, the classic, our Chips uh, TV show back in the day. All right, let's take it to the Chips. Yeah. So let's start off with the uh, Harley Davidson we have here. We have Officer uh, Rick Green here. And you've got to go over some of the details. Rick Green. How you doing? Big friends. It's nice to meet you. All right. So this is the uh, CHP Harley Davidson motorcycle. This is the 2018 version. Um, they, uh, back of the TV show, they also rode the Harley Davidson. So this is just the newer version. Uh, this is a uh, electric glide. This one's uh, what the newest version is the 107. It has the new uh, Milwaukee 8 engine in it. This is the helmet that we wear. We wear uh, open face and the three quarter helmets. And then the radio equipment's here in the front. Uh, all the controls are here for the lights, the siren, the radio. Um, we still use this uh, plug in here to plug into our headset so we can contact with the dispatch. Uh, the saddlebag here carries all of our equipment. Here's uh, this is my computer. It's hooked up to the internet. Um, I use it for to write my tickets as well. I print them out right here with my printer. Uh, I got all the rest of my stuff in here. Uh, we still carry the PR24. Um, it's mounted right here on the back of the motorcycle along with my flashlight. Uh, this is the, the trunk version we don't use for much. It's uh, got all the radio equipment here for the whole system. It's got a little bit of room for a few extra little items in it too as well. So. Other than that, this bike's used mainly for patrol. We do a lot of enforcement on it. Uh, it helps us get through the traffic a little bit quicker. In California, the fun fact is, is that it's uh, legal to split lanes in California. So uh, we can get to the scene a lot faster than the car cops and, and uh, take care of business. Officer Green, appreciate the time and explaining the bike to the non squad. Hey, no problem, anytime. All right, thanks, man. So which one are we doing next? We're going to do our commercial enforcement vehicle awesome. over here. Let's talk to uh, our commercial officer, Gates here. Well, officer Gates, how you doing, Nick? Good, Officer Gates. Nice to meet you, man. Likewise. So tell me about this bad boy right here. It's a 2018 Dodge Ram 2500 MRE truck outfitted with a 6.4 Hemi. We use this truck for commercial vehicle enforcement. It's outfitted like a patrol car. Here we have our MDC. Uh, it's all hand control or screen. We have a AR-15 shotgun. A CB radio so we can communicate with the truckers if needed. So even though you're using it for these big rigs and to make sure they're in compliance with uh, the laws, it's still very much a patrol vehicle on the inside, correct? It is. It's yeah. outfitted just like an ordinary patrol vehicle. It has all the same stuff, with just with a couple extras. So let's see those extras. All right, let's go check it out. All right, so the truck has a uh, floodlight, rooftop lights up here. Uh, this is a push bumper that's a little sturdier than a regular patrol vehicle so we can push heavy trucks. We got our bumper lights, sirens, and then let's take a look and see what else we have over here. All right here's a CB antenna so I can talk directly to the truckers from my patrol vehicle. Then we have some miscellaneous tools in here that we use to check uh, tire pressure gauge, uh, tire tread depth, and uh, brake measurements. And then back here we have some scales to check the weight of the trucks. So these, right these things actually come out? They do, they slide out and then okay. we place them underneath the, uh, the axles. All right, and then we'll pull out the equipment. But as you can see, this is pretty heavy. So what we like to do is have an inspection lane where we have all this stuff already all set up. 
we just bring the truck in and all this stuff's out and it makes it a lot more smoother and faster. So like a almost like a DUI checkpoint. Correct. Okay. Just like that. So they, they pull in, they jump on the scale, uh, they're good to go. Have a nice day. Send them on their way. And if not, you address it accordingly. That's correct. So let me ask, you, you mentioned the you had something that measured the brakes, the tire pressure, and now you have the weight, the scale. So what's what's the importance of this? out here uh, for you guys to be enforcing these these laws and these regulations. They all work together. Um, when you have a truck that's overweight, brakes that are bad, bad steering, bad tires, it can cause a big accident and hurt a lot of people. So um, another important factor is weight. Weight, heavy trucks destroy the roadways. They jeopardize the integrity of the steering, of the brake system, and suspension and all that. So it's all intertwined. Correct. Yeah, so if one piece of the chain is broken, the whole thing falls apart. Yeah. And that's, that's what you're out here doing. All right. Well, that thing looks pretty heavy, so I'm not gonna let you pull it out. But, uh, pretty awesome stuff, man. I appreciate your time. Awesome, thank you. And you be safe out there. Thank you. Rambo! <laughs> yes. You're out doing yourself, <laughs> man. Well, we had to, man. All right. We had to. Where are we going next? Uh, right next door, our uh, rapid response incident command vehicle. Instant Command Vehicle. So this is basically a smaller version of what you see back here, which is our mobile consulate command center. Uh, right up on top, we see all of our antennas. We have high band, low band, we have scanners, we have our antenna way up on top. And this actually will serve as a mobile office. So if one of our area offices was down, this could actually work as one of our offices. And you see back here, we have high tech, every possible radio you possibly think of. <laughs> Uh, of course, uh, we have our TV. We have the um, old school phones, but you know what? They still work. Uh, you get one of these back in the day. Oh my God! Does it have snake on it? The <laughs> it does. Snake? It does. <laughs> <laughs> they still work, though. It's good. We have our tactical and our different frequencies that we use to contact other allied agencies okay. in case we need to. We can even actually download video here from our helicopters up up above what? and actually share that with other offices. Awesome. Well. So when would you take this car out opposed to uh, that big guy over that there? Guy? So if we had a natural disaster mm -hmm. that needed rapid response, we would take this guy immediately to say like the fires that we had up in paradise. Okay. We'll take him out there, evaluate the whole scene and let him know like, you know what, this will work for now, but let's get this guy out here because we're going to be out here for a little bit. Okay. We got some power, of course we got a lot of stuff going on, so we need some constant power. So inside basically everything we have back here, we got it right here in this box, cut off the wires. Yeah, so the inside, we have pretty basic lights. We have our radios, we have our CB radio as well. Um, the most important stuff is in the back, so the front's pretty basic. Where are we off to next? All right, we're going to the Sun Division Bike Patrol Unit. Did you uh, say Bike Patrol Unit? Bike Patrol, yeah. Squad. Hello, I'm Marissa Raya. All right, what we got over here? Jesse Kersinski. All right. Let me address the elephant in the room. California Highway Patrol. So you guys must be really fast on these bikes. <laughs> Officer Kersinski, can you run down the bike, make, model, and how you guys use it? Sure, so these are our treks. Uh, we have treks and then we also have Fuji's. We use them primarily over at Expedition Park, it's where we patrol the state park. So we patrol the grounds there just daily um, as far as helping citizens get around, find their, find their way, or also we use it for special events and concerts and different events like that. So run us down some of the equipment on the bike. Sure, so these are a couple of our bikes. Uh, what you'll see on them is gonna be, every bike's gonna have some lights and the sirens. Right here, this is how we operate them with these buttons. Uh, of course, we wear our helmets, our gloves. All the way in the back, we're gonna have our rear lights here. I'm gonna ask a question that I know that they're gonna ask in the comments. When you make an arrest, where do you put the bad guy? Well, of course, we put him on the front. <laughs> All jokes aside, uh, if we do make an arrest, 
Then we'll have a car cop come out uh, and we'll put them in their cage unit and take them that way. Oh, okay. There you go, guys. I beat you to the punch. I noticed, yeah, because the guys are in brown and you guys uh, have the blue. So this is your bike uniform. So this is our bike uniform. They're stretchier. Uh, that way we can get around easier. And we got our tennis shoes, so, you know. Makes sense. So, Officer Karasinski, thank you for your time. Thank you. Officer Raya. Yes. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Uh, and showing us these awesome police pursuit bikes. Thank you. You out of here? I'm out of here. All right, man. Thanks for nice your time. You. Thank Appreciate you. It. Have a good one. Have a good one. We lost Oxford Gates. You leaving too? I'm leaving too. Oh. Thanks for your time. Thank you. It. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Be safe. Now they're gone. It's just me and you. Well, I got someone else to introduce you to. Last time we were here, Officer Gavon was here. Yeah. Well, he just took his talent somewhere else. Now he's a full-time DJ. Really? No, I'm just kidding. Now I'm just kidding. He's working <laughs> patrol now. Oh, uh, shout out to patrol. Officer Gavon. Officer Gavon. My man. <laughs> Hit the like button. Hit the like. <laughs> Don't be a hater. <laughs> so here we have Officer Baldonado. Hey, Officer Baldonado. Hey, how you doing, sir? Nice to meet you. Good to meet you, too. Say what's up to the Nod Squad. What's up, guys? All right, so, but you said I can call you a nickname. Baldo. Baldo and Rambo. Yes, sir. The duo. The duo. Dynamic duo. Dynamic duo. A lot of O's there. A lot of O's. Oh. oh. <laughs> so, you're driving the Tahoe. What? what? So officers comes in all shapes and sizes. Yes. Right. As so do our vehicles, right? Nice. Got a Chevy Tahoe 2016 V8 5.3 liter four wheel drive. <laughs> so let me ask you a quick question. So Tahoe Charger, how come you guys get assigned different vehicles, but yet you're in the same unit? So it depends on the environment, right? So state of California, state troopers, we got different climates, different environments, different terrains. Uh -huh. The Charger's kind of built for speed. Yep. The Tahoe is meant to pull you out of a ditch. Oh. Four wheel drive, sometimes they are equipped with a winch. Uh -huh. So those mountainous terrains is the perfect vehicle for that type of venue. Nice. This thing looks tough. It's tough. You mind if I get some B-roll? Go right ahead. Yeah! <laughs> So we've got, on the standard police utility vehicle, we've got the standard push bumper right. to aid assist motors off the freeway. Mm -hmm. We've got your PA system right here, so we can audibly voice ourselves to them, let them know what we want them to do. Okay. We've got our uh, standard red and blue lights here at the very front. Uh, this way, we've got a bigger oversized tire, so in case of the terrain, we can actually grab the terrain for them and uh, you know drive off whatever the mountainous area. Right. Uh, two floodlights, one for the driver, one for the passenger, if we're rolling the uh, two, two deep. Decal, Highway Patrol, standard black and white uh, police vehicle, as you know. Got our wheeling lights up up at front, so we can let people know, hey, we're pulling you over. Amber lights as well, and people know that, hey, we're doing a traffic break, whatever the case is. Um, antennas, for all the radio equipment that we do, we want to talk to Mars, we can if we want it. <laughs> all right, so it's back here, Highway Patrol sticker, decal, letting people know behind us that we are law enforcement. We got a secondary light board up on top. Because why, is it, it, why is it up there? Good question, I'm glad you asked that. It's a higher profile vehicle, so in case we have a vehicle really close to us, they can know that we're still going over. So, two light bars. Uh, what else we got here? In the back of this, standard equipment, radio equipment, kind of boring up. <laughs> good stuff. All right, Baldo. Thank you, Nick. All right. Appreciate it, sir. The Tahoe. The Tahoe. With Rambo. Right, Rambo. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> nice. hey, there you go. A lot of hoes. A lot of hoes. <laughs> uh, what do we got next? Uh, next is MC3, MC? our uh, mobile consolidated command center. Ah, she's a beauty. She is, she's nice. So is this the last vehicle on our menu today? Well, it could be. What do you uh, mean by that? Well, I was watching your video that you guys did with FHP. Yeah, the... And there was some sort of like unlockable feature you guys had? Yes, it was for their retro, retro fleet. Well, we might have one for you. You got a retro car? 
We do. You hold it out? Yeah, it's, it's kind of hiding around the corner over here. You want to do an unlockable feature? Yeah, can we? All right, guys. Is it a good one? I think you're going to like it. Is it 4,000 likable? Oh. Yeah? We're definitely going to hit that. All right, guys. Here it is to unlock the unlockable retro car. 4,000 likes on this video here. It's simple, they can do it. Oh yeah. You know how many the FHP one got? No. 21,000 likes. So no. for sure, 4,000 is. We got this. We got this. All right, All right guys, show them how it's done. <laughs>